So as you guys likely know, I started coding a website about 8 or 9 months ago, and it was honestly an extremely difficult experience to get through that. I did not know the Django framework or really about how websites were built. I thought I did, but in terms of actually doing all the stuff that you need to properly bring them to production and something that people would find valuable, yeah, that's a lot different than just like a simple API or, or a one page website that doesn't even look good. So I feel like I learned a lot in the process and I'm still going to right after I film this, I'm gonna go right back to it and I'll learn some more. But uh, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys some of the main things that I learned that I think you could find really, really useful when you're doing just navigating your daily life as well as coding projects and trying to advance your career. So to make it easy to remember, I'm going to bottle this down to three different points. Point number one is that you need to raise your expectations of yourself and the things that you're doing. I think this is one of the biggest things that I learned is that you can't just do something and then be okay with it. I know that, you know, mentally that might be a nice thing to do. You're like, you know, good for me. Uh, but honestly, it's not. You have to really, really challenge yourself and keep raising your expectations. Although I said that I had this mindset of creating the best possible learning website, which I'm still in the process of doing now. Um, actually, at the beginning, I kind of just wanted to have my own site. But in the process, I looked at all the competitors, I looked at what mine was at each, st uh, each, each step of the code, and I thought this could be better, this could be better, I could do this better, people would like this, this would look better. And I kept doing that over and over again, and I'm still doing that over and over again. And that is what is really raising my, you know, it continues to raise my own expectations of what's possible. And it continues to actually, you know, make things better. It makes me stronger. I've learned so much. And that's going to be another point about just learning things in general. But please be a huge critic of yourself. I know that it might be annoying to actually, you know, have a mental battle of like constantly asking yourself, is it enough? Is it enough? If you are looking to grow in the field of tech or just throughout your life, you're going to have to get used to challenging yourself. And that is probably the biggest thing that I learned mentally going through is be a massive critic. Step number two is closely related to the first one, but it's very, very different. It's the process of rapid skill acquisition. So basically from step one, I'm saying you've got to be a critic. You've got to constantly challenge yourself on what you think is possible and so that you try and make things better. But how do you actually go about making those things better? Well, for me, it's not about not wanting to put in the work because I'm always trying to make things better. It's because I currently do not know how to do these things. Like in my mind, I have a rough plan of how I might go about doing that. That involves many skills that I don't even know how to do. This gets a lot easier as you, you know, get comfortable with the tech stack that you're using, although your tech stack is going to expand, I, I assure you, if you make things big. Um, but it is really, really difficult in the beginning where you're trying to make something that's, you know, large scale application or whatever it is in your life. And you just you're you don't know anything about it, basically, like the whole thing. You just don't have a clue that will get better as you move on. But how do you actually fight through those many, many irritating pieces of like, I want this to get done, but I genuinely have no clue on how to do it? Well, I really promise you, it is just have a vision, not a project, not a side hustle, whatever the heck you want to call it, the thing that means do this so that it's on your resume. I don't recommend doing that. Just call it a company. Think about it as a company. Think about it as something that you're doing because you want to and because you like it, not because you're doing it specifically to get a job. In the process, of course, that's going to help you get a job. If you still want to get it, like, or looking to get a particular job, I'm not saying that this is a bad approach to do that. In fact, it's also the best approach to do that because it's what's going to get you the best results in your application or whatever it is that you're trying to do. But it's really, really difficult to actually get the motivation to learn these skills. If you think you're just like learning the skills so that you can build a project so that you can put that project on your resume, like it, it's, it's hard to find motivation for that as I know, and many of you know as well. So it's much easier to have motivation. If you say, Hey, what I'm building here, what well, this is actually useful, people could actually use this. If people find it useful, why can't it be a company someday? 
that it's simply like it's that simple and so you should probably build it like that and that's why for me i found it really really easy to just constantly learn new crazy things i never thought were possible because every single time every time i think of a new problem that i'm not sure how to solve i just say hey if i solve this one day this could be really important and it is now like i have ml now and it is a very important essential company in data analytics but I'm still continuing to make it better. And I have to ask myself that question every day. If you put in this work, is it going to be worth it? The answer is yes. If you think it's a company someday, the answer is likely no. If you're just learning a skill for the random sake of learning a skill. Now, with that being said, I know that a lot of you are going to struggle to relate to that because you're just not feeling entrepreneurial at all. And I get that. I'm saying to pretend to, so or at least that if you can think of a goal, if that goal is to get a job or something that you think is really, really valuable to you, just something that gives you reason to code. And I know that a lot of you just struggle with building projects that are you know, not your own, building stuff that's actually big and complicated that employers would really like because a lot of you just stop at you know, I think this is enough and it's it's not anything interesting and employers are, are not going to find it that interesting. Whatever it is, whatever goal works for you, then that's great. For me and for many, many other people that I've talked to, I found that it's really worth it if you can pretend at least that it's a company or have an actual company. One of the two of those is often better, but whatever it is that, you know, gets you working towards that goal, then that's what you need to do. The third step is that getting your life together in an organized pattern, things are working well, you're exercising, you're eating well, you're doing all the things around the work that you think are the best things to be doing. You have the right friends that are guiding you and guiding you in the path that you want to be on. You have the people of support that you can go to if you face times of trouble, whatever it is. If there's things that are annoying you in your life, you need to try and sort those out. And you can't just go down the route of ignoring it and ignoring it for a few weeks because that's a few months, it's a few years, and it's a lot of progress that you can get in a few years if you really, really put your mind to it, or even just a few months, for God's sake. So seriously, get your life together in whatever way possible so that you can, one, challenge yourself at every step so you can keep fighting every single day and keep things better and better. Two, do the rapid skill acquisition so you can constantly be learning, have a goal in your mind so that you can constantly push towards that, whatever it may be, so that you can have your life sorted out in all aspects, okay? That's really the main point of these three is that you keep fighting yourself so that you keep learning skills and keep making things better and you sort the many things out of your life so that you get the things out of life that you would want. If you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a thumbs up. Make sure to check out mlnow.ai in the description, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.